Hi boys and girls, it's Kamochi time. Kamochis are our friends. Kamochis are our friends. They are here to play with us. Kamochis are our friends. They have feelings too. They have feelings too. Happy, sad, and angry, just like me and you. Well done, boys and girls. Well, we have had so much fun talking about bug this week talking about putting our brave in front of our scared. And we've talked about positive affirmations. And today we're gonna to do another page from our Kamochi packet. <clears throat> and we are gonna do the page after the affirmations page. So this page we did yesterday. So we are going to do this page and it's about affirmations. But because we're gonna do some cutting on this page, you need to just tear it right out carefully. See how I just tore it in the corner there? And I will put this down. And first, we're going to read these affirmations. We talked about so many fun affirmations yesterday, and I know that you picked out your favorites, and I picked out my favorites as well. And I hope that you shared them with your family or you can share them with your teacher on Flipgrid also. But these are just some other ideas of things that we can say to ourselves. They make you feel good. They make you keep going. Um, and this now, we have some bracelets that we can actually make and then we can wear them or you could put them in your space or you can just hang them somewhere and Maybe there's going to be a day where you really need to to wear it, wear one of them, but it's completely up to you. So first, we're going to read them. So the first one says, I am smart. Yes, I think that was one of the ones we read yesterday. We talked about being smart in different ways, and that's okay. I make great decisions. Oh, we talk about making good choices in class, good decisions in class, and that is something that we have to do for all of our lives. Even as adults, we have to make good choices or good decisions, and that's knowing what's right and what's wrong and always doing the right thing, even when nobody's watching. That's really even more important. I am proud of myself. Yeah, you should be proud of yourself. We talked about being proud and hugged a puss, being proud of who you are and the things that you can do. I am calm. Ooh, we've worked on that. We worked on taking a deep breath and just making our mat a little smaller, learning how to do that. I can achieve my goals. Yeah, if you work hard, you can achieve your goals. That means you can, you can do what you set out to do. But if you're not willing to work for it, just be prepared that it might not happen. You have to be patient with yourself, you have to practice, and you have to be willing to, to, to get out there and just take a little bit of a risk and try new things. And I am confident. Confident is when you have, you're sure of what you can do, like you, you believe in yourself. I believe that I can read all my sight words. I believe that I can ride my, my bike without training wheels. I believe that I can be kind and make new friends. So being confident. And that comes with a lot of practice also. Okay, so now before we cut them out, make them your own. And what I mean by that is decorate them however you like. So I'm gonna do, I am confident. And I'm just gonna color some I have my little flare pens from yesterday I'm just gonna start coloring the word confident and then maybe adding some little details to it but this is a fun way to make these bracelets your own and that means your own style however you like using what colors you like. This is your bracelet for you to wear or put in your workspace. So make sure that it's that you're coloring it 
the way you like it. So I just did some stripes, polka dots, and I colored the whole letter. Maybe I'll even do a little pattern. So I'll do stripes here again, and then polka dots. And you can color right now also, making it your own however you'd like. <clears throat> and I'll show you mine when I'm finished. I'm just doing an A, B, C pattern. So stripes, polka dots. Ooh, I dropped my pen, I'll show you my progress. And this word, confident, has three syllables. But we know how to break up words. So you would probably be able to spell that if you broke it down into syllables. Okay, I'm confident that you could do that. All right, so I colored the word. Now I'm going to, I'm gonna add a little bit of decoration around it. Should be things that you like. So if you like flowers, draw a flower. If you like hearts, draw a heart. If you like Pokemon, draw a Pokemon. Whatever you like, it's your picture, your bracelet. So I just drew a little flower on that side. I think I'm gonna do some hearts on this side. And you can do this, I'm only gonna decorate one bracelet with you. You can decorate all of them and you can use these whenever you feel like you need them or put them in your workspace, just as a reminder of some positive self-talk. Okay, I decorated my bracelet and I am going to cut it out. So it says cut on the dotted lines. So let's see if I can do this facing you. So I'm gonna cut just the bottom one out. And the dotted line and I'll cut this little strip on the bottom off and there it is I am confident and it says glue over here because if you're going to wear it as a bracelet you would put like your stick glue here a little bit of glue and then you can just put it on your wrist and then you have a cool bracelet and if you make it loose enough, my wrists are a little bit big, bigger than yours, but if you make it loose enough, you can reuse your bracelet. So you can wear it one day and then carefully take it off and then save it for another day. So maybe you wanna use this when you are going to the park and you're trying to get on those monkey bars. Those monkey bars, when I was a kid, oh, I love them so much. I could go across them really fast. I don't know that I could do it anymore, <laughs> but use this, use your bracelets. You can um, put them, like I said, put them in your workspace, enjoy them that way, or you can keep them by your space when you're working, or you can wear it. It's up to you, but you enjoy making these bracelets. You don't have to do them all today. Maybe you want to do one today and then you want to color the others and cut them and use them as you need them. It's just another way that you can be kind to yourself and remind yourself that you're amazing in so many different ways and probably ways you didn't even realize. So, I love that you're here with me. I love learning all about kamochis and bug with you. And tomorrow we are going to read a story. I haven't picked it yet. I have a couple that I need to pick from. It'll be a nice story that, you know, Mrs. Henry loves these stories that go along with all that we learn. So have a great day. Be confident. Be kind to yourself. Be awesome. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye, boys and girls.